Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another birthday request review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Megan Carrar for Dylan Patterson's birthday. Thank you so much for your birthday request. I hope you're having a great birthday. Let me know if you got any gifts for your birthday uh, in the comments and if you guys want to um, request a car if your birthday is coming up you could do so. Um, I have a video up on my second channel going over the specifics on how to submit a birthday request so make sure to watch that first. And, you know, let me know a few weeks before your birthday so that I can plan everything out for the video. Anyway, though, today, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at Megan Carrar, a car um, who was a chase from the all-in-all -all blowout series back in 2014 and was notable at the time for being the only other character to use Sally's mold. Since then, or basically, you know, the only other Porsche or Porsche to get a die cast. Since then, we also had uh, a World Grand Prix fan, I believe, named Miko, who was canceled. Um, so, yeah, she and Sally are still the only two characters using this mold. She came with this very nice all-in-all -all sign. She shows up in the movie driving over the sign, so it's nice that that was included. Just a little bonus since she was a Chase release, which, of course, means she can't be re-released. Let's take a look at that sign first, actually. Got your typical image of Glowy there that we see all over Cars 2. The all-in-all -all logo there. And all the flowers sort of shooting out of the back of Globy, And these tire marks all over representing the scene again in Cars 2 where Megan drives over it. Really nice that they packed an accessory with the car. And the tracks and Megan's wheels basically line up pretty well, which is a really nice bit of accuracy. Yeah, you can see you could have her skid uh, all over that. I believe she like spins around on the sign in the movie. But a very nice accessory, pretty similar to the more recent collector cards. Uh, it's just a sticker on a piece of white plastic. But again, really nice touch. And I display it with Megan. I just keep her on top of it. Moving on to Megan herself, though. She's got a pretty disgruntled expression. Got the Porsche logo there. Very angry mouth expression. Really like her facial expression. Definitely captures the character. She's sort of a red, maroonish color, of course, compared to the typical blue Sally. Although, again, she's using the old, original Sally mold, not the updated 2018 mold since she's from 2014. Got the same exact wheels as Sally. And on the back, her license plate. I don't understand why they would be so lazy as to give this car the exact same license plate as one of the main characters in the series. Guys, you had one job. Actually, no, you had way more than one job. You had to design the whole character and the die cast and all that. But really, it's just annoying to see when they give two characters the exact same license plate, especially when one of them is as main a character as Sally. Here's the thing, though. I think that this issue has definitely gotten better um, as time has gone on, though, so that's good. You know, I, I think we see the same license plates far less frequently nowadays. Anyway, though, you know, usually when I see two cars with the same license plate in a review, I have a whole joke where I knock one of them off of the shelf here, but, um, Megan is a chase, so I wouldn't want to knock her down. Uh, Sally, though, I'll gladly drop. That sounds like it hurt. Moving on, though, we've got the Carrara logo there in silver compared to the black writing on Sally, who I now have to go get <laughs> because I have to keep on... Uh, comparing these two, there we go. So you can see the writing is black on Sally, but silver on Megan here. Um, the windows are also a different color, which is interesting. There's a look at the other side, and like I said before, the wheels are the same between the two of them. And there is her base, of course, complete with the Porsche, uh, copy right there. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.